Microsoft has a new feature which improves FPS in games with Optimus on. So is the muck switch useless now? In some ways, yeah, but not always. Which is why we need to talk about this update and test out some games. It's called Cross Adapter Scanout or CASO for short. CASO? CASO? No idea how it's pronounced, so I'm sticking with CASO. According to a Microsoft blog post, this update gives a 16% boost to average FPS in an unknown set of popular games they tested, 27% less latency, and a 45% decrease to game crashes. That almost sounds too good to be true from just a software update. So how does it work? First you need some context. This diagram shows how Optimus works. Normally if you run light workloads, like a web browser, the integrated graphics that are part of the processor handle the work, as they're more power efficient. But once you run a game, the more powerful discrete Nvidia or AMD graphics take over rendering the frames of the game. The problem is, the frame still gets sent through the integrated graphics before appearing on the screen, which acts as a bottleneck and results in lower FPS in games. This problem has already been solved with the Mux Switch. With a simple reboot, you can swap between Optimus on with the lower powered integrated graphics driving the screen, or the more powerful discrete graphics doing everything, but at the expense of worse battery life. This technology has evolved even further with features like Nvidia's Advanced Optimus or AMD's Smart Access Graphics, which handle this process automatically without a reboot. A MUX switch is still needed for this to work, which is additional hardware that costs more money. So older and cheaper laptops cannot get an FPS boost in games because they don't have a MUX switch. This blog post from Microsoft outlines how Queso works, I'll leave a link to it below. Basically, instead of two copies of the rendered frame going from the discrete graphics to a shared resource to the iGPU, Queso only requires one copy of the rendered visuals, which is then scanned out to the display. So with Optimus on, only one copy of the frames is needed now instead of two, meaning less bottleneck due to a more efficient process. Technically this means the MUX switch should still be better, but it means that the performance gap between Optimus on and Optimus off should be smaller than ever before. But just before we get to the game benchmarks, can your laptop actually use this feature? Right now, Queso is supported by either AMD Ryzen 6000 and newer processors, or 11th gen and newer for Intel. 11th gen came out a whole year before Ryzen 6000, so this means that Intel is better supported. And there's not currently any word if we'll see older hardware supported. Honestly, that kind of sucks, because the MUX switch was far less common in laptops that had Ryzen 5000 and 4000 processors, so I really hope those older processors processors get Queso support in future. The blog post also mentions WDDM 3.1 is needed for AMD or 3.0 for Intel. What the heck is that? It's the Windows driver display model. We can see that 3.1 for AMD is available in Windows 11, while Intel again is better supported and can work with Windows 10 using the older WDDM 3.0. The easiest way I've found to check your WDDM version is to open command prompt and run dxdiag. From here we can see the version listed under driver model in the display tab. Other than that, Nvidia driver version 5.1.5 or newer is needed, which is over a year old at this point, and only DirectX 11 and 12 games are currently supported. But that's the majority of titles these days. Alright, so say your laptop can use it, what's the performance difference? I've tested 25 games at two resolutions on the Lenovo Legion Slim 5 with Optimus on and off to find out. Honestly, for the most part, the performance differences were surprisingly small, which confirms that Queso is indeed offering a performance improvement. It's seriously not worth me sitting here talking through 25 different games, which is why we're instead just briefly skipping through all of the results. So feel free to pause the video if you want a closer look at any of the games. I could have used far less games and saved us hours and hours of testing time, but I think it's important to test a wide selection of games so that we can get a better picture of the average performance differences. Like I always say, more data equals more better. Let's check out those average differences next, as it's far easier to see the bigger picture. On average, over all 25 games tested, at 1080p, playing with Optimus off was only 2% faster compared to playing with Optimus on, a very minor difference. Only 4 of the 25 games tested had more than a 5% or higher FPS boost with Optimus off. 
Optimus Off is still clearly better, but the difference just isn't as big as what I've shown in older videos about the mock switch. In my comparison a couple of years ago, Watch Dogs Legion was 18% faster with Optimus Off, Red Dead Redemption 2 was 11% faster, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was 11% faster, and Control was 10% faster. So we're definitely seeing smaller margins here due to Queso. There's an even smaller difference at the higher 1440p resolution, because the mock switch generally matters less at higher GPU bound resolutions. That said, the games that were hitting the highest frame rates saw the biggest uplift from turning Optimus off. It's easier to see just how small the difference is if we take the average of all 25 games tested. Yeah, Optimus Off is ahead, but it's only by a super small margin, and in most cases, it's just not a difference that you're actually going to notice while playing. As for latency, in Counter-Strike 2, both an Intel and AMD laptop that were exactly the same apart from the CPU difference were quicker with Optimus Off. Unfortunately, I can't test with Optimus On and Queso Off to compare, as I haven't found a way to disable Queso for testing. It's just on by default. Alright, so what does the Queso improvement actually mean for you? If you've already got a modern gaming laptop with either Nvidia's Advanced Optimus or AMD's Smart Access Graphics, not much. It's still better to automatically swap to the DGPU when you open up a game, especially as this is required to use features like G-Sync. On the other hand, if you've got a laptop that does have a mock switch, but you need to manually reboot to swap between Optimus on and off, well, the Queso update kind of means that there's less incentive for you to spend the time rebooting when it's time to play games. Because with Queso, you're just not leaving as much performance on the table as you used to. I don't know about you, but personally, I'd be more inclined to be lazy and just just keep Optimus on. That said, again, you will need to turn Optimus off if you want features like G-Sync. Now, on the other other hand, if you've got a gaming laptop which is either older or cheaper, and does not have a mock switch, then Queso is your new best friend. Because this is just a free FPS boost for you. But given Queso seems to have been built into Windows 10 and 11 for some time now, the first time I heard about it was actually about 18 months ago, it's only just now that Microsoft seems to be publishing this blog post saying, hey, it's available, chances are you've already been taking advantage of it and just haven't noticed. As long as you're meeting all the requirements noted earlier, it should just be working by default. But as far as I know right now, there's no way to actually check that it's actually on. You can see how much bigger the performance difference was before Queso with this video next. I compared Optimus on and off a couple of years ago, well before Queso rolled out, and you'll see how much bigger the difference was in that one. 